In this mini episode, we look at the self titled album by Earl Jordan. <laughs> An interesting album I dug out of the cabinet to have a listen to the other day was this one. It's an album called Jordan by a chap called Earl Jordan. Now, a lot of you may not know who Earl Jordan is, and this, as far as I'm aware, is his only solo album, and it took me ages to get hold of a copy of this. And I eventually found a copy, which was like 40 years old, brand new, still in its sort of shrink wrap, and I very carefully took it off and unleashed the album, gave it its freedom after 40 odd years, probably some, I don't know, probably four years ago, probably in, during lockdown um, on the internet. And Earl Jordan is the guy doing the singing on the Green Bullfrog album which is the famous Richie Blackmore jam album where nobody had their real name on it and this is a classic of sort of 70s soul folk rock gospel thing all rolled into one and it's produced by Derek Lawrence who obviously produced the first three Deep Purple albums and also produced that bullfrog jam that green bullfrog thing um, I'll do um, a piece on that at some point, I would have written blog I did on that. Oh, I don't know, probably 15 odd years ago. That gets used all over the place. I said more hits than just about any other um, thing I've ever, ever written. I think. Um, and when I did actually write that, the um, one of the people who played it, one of the lesser known people who played it, actually contacted me and told me one or two little stories about being sent by Richard Blackwater to go and buy some new strings and things. Anyway, back to this. Earl Jordan, produced by Derek Lawrence, engineered by Martin Birch, so you can you can you know what you're gonna get the sound wise, but it's it's just packed full of that real great solely bluesy sort of gospel -y voice and you've got a, you've got all sorts of different things on here as well to cover all those sort of types of music. Go through the track list and I'll just get a little bit closer so I can see the titles under the light, you start off with a track called A Shadow of Yesterday's Sun 10,000 Years Behind My Mind. Now, that was written by Derek Lawrence. Now, Derek Lawrence, again, as we said, was, is the producer of this, but he also wrote some great songs for lots of other people as well, including Boz, I think. Boz Burrell, the bass player from Bad Company, he wrote um, some songs for him as well. Um, then we, uh, we get Sugar Joe, which again is written by Derek Lawrence and Del Newman. Um, Angelina is an extract, then Nobody Hears a Word. We get on to the, the, the second side, you get Baby You Touch My Soul, which is obviously a more sort of solid track. It's a long way down, Peace to the Man, and then Looking for the Man. But the track at the end here, if I remember rightly, the timings won't be on the actual disc and that last track looking for the man lasts for nine and a half minutes and Earl Jordan's a vocalist you know and so this is a, a chap as a vocalist who's quite prepared to put a nine and a half minute song on his album where the majority of it is obviously instrumental but it's, it's, a, it's a really great album it's almost impossible to find I'd pick this up you can see it's on Capital Sovereign I'd pick this up during lockdown off, off off the internet and it was it was still sealed. I, I don't know how how many copies are around these days, how hard it is to, to get hold of. But if you see it and you're a fan of rock bluesy soul stuff or you're a fan of Derek Lawrence or you're a fan of that Green Bullfrog album, snap this up because it is absolutely wonderful. And don't forget Earl Jordan as well turned up on the butterfly to keep, to keep the deep purple things going he turned up on the butterfly ball to sing Johnny Goodison's tracks I think because he couldn't go to the butterfly ball and we had Johnny Goodison come the other way didn't we in the Brotherhood of Man so that whole world of all that rock music from the 70s is all very incestuous but this was just a brief look if you like at 
this to make you all aware that it's around Bill Jordan Jordan great album thanks for watching this mini episode see you again soon Bye.